This is part 36 of Angular 2 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the Angular root injector. In our previous video, we discussed in Angular 2, we have one root injector at the application level plus an injector at every component level. To register our service with the root injector, we use the providers property of at ng module decorator. And to register our service with an injector at a specific component level, we use the providers property of at component decorator of that specific component class. This is the same project that we have been working with so far in this video series. At the moment, within our application, we have just one module, which is the root application module, and that is present in this file app.module.ts. And here is the class, and this class is decorated with at ng module decorator and then we're using the providers property of this decorator to register our user preferences service with the root injector now the bottom line to keep in mind here is at the moment within our application we have just one module the root module which is in app.module.ts in a real world application it is very common to have more than one module for example if we are building an HR management system, in addition to the root application module, we may have employee module, department module, admin module, reporting module, etc. At the moment, if you look at our application, we are using the providers property of at ng module decorator of the root application module to register our user preferences service with the root injector. Now, we can use the at ng module decorator of any of these feature modules also to register our service with the root injector. Let's actually prove that. At the moment, within our application, we don't have any feature modules. So let's create a simple test module and then use that test modules at ng module decorator to register our service with the root injector. First, let's remove user preferences service registration from the root application module by removing this user preference service from the providers property. Let's save our changes and then reload our web page. Now we know the application will fail. That's because the Angular injectors does not know about our user preferences service. So the application fails with that famous error, no provider for user preferences service. And here is that error. Now let's create a test module so we can use that test modules at ng module decorator to register our user preferences service with the angular root injector. So let's right click on the app folder and add a new TypeScript file and let's name our module file test.module.ts and here is the code to create a module. If you look at these three lines of code, they are very similar to how we create a component. We first create a class and then we import ng module from angular core and then to turn this class into an angular module we decorate it with at ng module decorator. If you recollect the steps for creating a component they are very similar. You create a class instead of importing ng module you import component from angular core and decorate that class with at component decorator to turn that class into an angular component. So as you can see Angular provides consistent set of patterns for creating components, modules, directives and pipes. Next, let's use the providers property of at ng module decorator of this test module to register our user preferences service with the Angular root injector. So first, let's import user preferences service and then we pass an object to at ng module decorator and then set the providers property like this and to the array we pass our service which is user preferences service so let's save all these changes and reload this web page notice the application is still not working and if you look at the error message is the same error no provider for user preferences service that's because at the moment we have just created our test module but we are not using it anywhere. So to use it, let's import it in our root application module. So this is our root module. Just like how we have imported other Angular system modules like browser module, forms module, we need to import our test module. So let's include the required import statement 
and then just like how we have made this angular system modules part of imports array we also need to make our test module part of this imports array so let's include our test module right here and then save these changes and reload the web page again our home component is working we don't have any errors in the console now let's navigate to the employee list component and even this is working as expected so this proves that we can use any module provider property to register a service with the angular root injector that module can be a root module or any of the feature modules thank you for listening and have a great day